awesome. Our next team comes from Western Pennsylvania, the fine city of Pittsburgh, and Carnegie Mellon University. Please welcome to the stage the No Parking Players! Yeah. motion or is it uh, straight down? <clears throat> Stuart, you gotta just like hammer it. All right, we got 10 more to get by the end of the day and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, okay thanks boss. Thanks. It's, it's a meat tenderizer, you really just gotta hit it. With the knife. With the knife? I, I take the knife, I take the hammer and then I just go to town? I can't deal with this, I'm too busy washing the oven. <laughs> It's never gonna get warm if you just if you just uh, you wash pot never wash pot never boils. never boils. Yeah. You think I should just leave the meat alone? You think that will get it done quicker? Stuart. I think we should put it in the oven. It's time. It's ready. Are you re really? Mm-hmm. The boss said we've got ten more to do. And would you rather do 10 total or one really good one and then eat it afterward? I want to eat it. Mom, Dad. I've been raising this little chicken for five years. I don't think I'm ready to put it in the oven. It's time to eat it, Stephen. We did a good job teaching you about love. That I know, and that you have proven to us today. Come here. Mom, no. Hug yourself. Not if you kill a little, little five-year-old child. Well, we can live with them. Do you have the knife, Delilah? We won't. Oh, I was supposed to bring the knife. Yes. Well. You gotta stop fighting again. No. It was, it was fight, and then me and Charles just would hide away. He was my only friend. Now you want me to hit him with a hammer. Well, now I wonder if it was us that taught you love. Or Charles. Margaret, we can't kill the duck that taught our son love. One of these days, you're going to have to hit me on the head. You know that game Whack-A-Mole? You're going to have to do that to me. Charles, I can't. But I want you to know that I'm okay with it. I want you to know that I love you. No. Every every hour, every little little fight, you were there. That's I cried right. into your feathers. Yes. I raised you under my wing, as they say. Literally and figuratively. But there comes a time in every little boy and girl's life when they must learn how to build a home, and they must start by hammering chickens. But I'm just a little boy. So like, ever since Charles, I just like, feel like I can't love anymore, you know? I feel like the expectation, the relationship is that I'll just end up hammering them. Here's the check <laughs> anytime you guys are ready. Thank, oh, thank th you. Thanks. Yeah. Just be a second. I don't know, ever since I killed two of my best friends, I feel the same way. <laughs> Gosh, Samantha, this is where we first met. I, I have a question I need to ask you. Oh, what is it, Jonathan? Anything? Will you let me crush your skull with a hammer? Oh, of course! <laughs> Will you stop playing that dang music? <sighs> you guys are just jealous that I'm the talent and you're the grunt. I was only hired because I'm the same size as the deceased. So. As the deceased? Yes. Oh, yes. No, we needed somebody to fit for the coffin, so 
Just because you went to art school and learned how to play the, the xylophone, xylophone yes. doesn't mean that I'm any less... I'm, I'm getting the same amount of money as you. Look. Do you think we need to go deeper? Rehearsal funerals are a newfangled thing, and I think we're just trying to explore the space together. <laughs> Wait a second. Are you the grunt? I'm supposed to be the grunt. Hmm. You're the grunt. You're the grunt. I'm the only grunt around this graveyard, and I've been the only grunt. <laughs> Sounds like you guys are about to have a grunt off. <laughs> Welcome to Bob's Bizarre Coffins. Let me take your measurements for your coffin. So, is this for like a friend or you um, planning on? Yeah, actually, this is a gift to my sister. Oh. Yeah. So uh, uh, that's nice. That's uh, I've always wanted a sister that would do that. Mm-hmm. Um, because I mean, she's just she's getting real annoying, so I'm sort of biding my time until uh, it seems natural. But you know how it is. Uh, uh. Can you try this one? It's like getting it. How does that fit? Is it a little tight? It's a little snug. A little snug? All right, we can work on that. Uh, how, how are the shoulders? Hello. Welcome to Bob's Bespoke Coffins. How can I help you? Hi, Tina. Esmeralda. I... Mom told me you went to the doctor, but she... She didn't... Is there something you want to tell me? Tina, I'm just, um... You tell me anything. Tina, um, it's for Lindsay! Cousin Lindsay, it's it's her 20th, and oh, you know how crazy oh, she is. She's been wanting one. That's so right. Well, let me uh-huh. help you pick it out. I oh, love yeah. Cousin Lindsay. You know, actually, this is perfect. Why don't you try on a coffin? You're much more like Lindsay's <laughs> yeah. size. Uh, that is true, huh? All right. Uh, now, how does that fit? Well, it's that. a bit tight, but, you know, I think I think she'd like it. All right. All right. Yeah. Are you ding, sure you don't ding. want to sit? Yeah. Hello, Hello cousins. <laughs> it is me. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, ah. All right. Are well. you going to get this for me? Yeah, it's ah, all for ah, you. Ah. Do you think you can fit two of us in there, maybe? I really love it. <laughs> sure. All right. Two for one. Two for one. Two for one. You know that's gonna cost extra. I'll pay anything. Just okay. shut the mail. Okay. What really sucks is I ordered this coffin like a thousand years ago, and it's always been tight, but I can't fix it now. It's too late, you know what I mean? It's just one mishandled order. Ah, ah, ah. Two mishandled orders. Ah, ah. Y- yes, <laughs> Drac. Egypt has changed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Brad, the usual? Of course. All right. I don't know why you want me to wax your head, but, uh... I gotta be hairless, man. I know, I understand. Yeah, you're all backwards with the cutting materials, though. All right, I'm gonna let that sit as the hot wax drips down your face. (laughs) So tell me about your day, Brad. What you you been up to? Uh, I asked my girlfriend to shave my shoulder blades, and she kind of freaked out on me. Yeah, yeah. All right. Like, if you can, I have someone to help you with that. I mean, I'm uh-huh, really uh-huh. can. I hear you. Okay, now hold still. Shh. Oh. Okay, so yeah, you're talking about your girlfriend, right? There's a little yeah. blood. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I mean, Paul just wants me to be hairless. So. No, I understand. Yeah. Hello, yes. Welcome to your neurosurgery. Please have a seat. Now, to get ready your skull, I will have to make some markings, but before we do that, I have to wax your entire head. That's where we can access your brain. So anyway, how's your love life? What's going on, to your girlfriend? Uh, um, you, you know, we're dating for a while now. I think it's going well. Oh, that's wonderful. Now, just be mindful of the wax dripping down your face. It shouldn't hurt you that could, much. You could stop the wax from dripping down my face. No, it's no problem. The anesthesiologist will take care of that. Don't worry. Lay down, lay down. All right. Shall we make the incision? 
I will first have to rip off the wax, and then that will take the okay. skull off with it. <laughs> so how's how's your how's your mother going? How's she doing? Dude, what? I'm. What, am I in surgery? Is your mother? Is she? Is she still dating that guy? That uh, Charles? He's. I don't like. Oh, him. he's such a hack. He's he's horrible. Uh, could you guys just speak up a little more? The camera's not getting it. Don't worry about it. We're just trying to get to know you, sweetheart. It's fine. This is pretty good. What's in here? It's anesthetic. You look into the light. <coughs> I want to buy some of my anesthesia. What kind is that? What kind? We got, we got bubble gum. We got cherry flavor. We got mint. Knock you out in a good two minutes. Oh, oh well, uh, that sounds pretty fun because whenever I'm at the dentist, I always have a little bit of the bubblegum one. But my mom says don't have too much, and I think she's crazy. Well, I'm not your mom. I only have um, a dollar seventy-five and a little one of those popper things. That's plastic and it pops around. Oh, I wasn't gonna take your dollar seventy-five, but that popper thing—that sweetens the deal. Sweetheart, come meet the guest I brought to dinner. Oh, come on, come on, it's fine, it's fine. She will love you. Sweetheart, come meet him. Did you brush your teeth? Yes. Before and after dinner, like we do. Well. Why aren't you touching your food? Oh, we didn't say grace. To our dental health and our incisors. Amen. Amen. Well, I'm like bubble gum over there. What? <laughs> no! What? What are you talking about? She smells like bubble gum to you, huh? Have you been getting illegal anesthesia? Parishioners! My flock, please gather. <clears throat> the Lord said unto man, Let he who is without cavities cast the first stone. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. And we are all, all of us, cavity ridden. I see disgusting mental and dental hygiene. I see gingivitis. I see halitosis. I don't even see anything. There's nothing there. And you, open your mouth. Open your Dude. mouth so that we and God can see. Repent. Repent. <laughs> That's right. I'm sorry. You I have a daughter, and I have to make sure she brushes her teeth. Yes, yes. You know, in a lot of ways, God is like a pilot. He tells us to clean our teeth before we clean others. Amen. 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 Yes, amen. amen. Exactly, exactly. <sighs> on Sis your knees. Yes, you know what we have to do to people who brush their teeth before oh, their kids. I didn't think it would happen to me. Yes, we never think it does. <laughs> we never think it does. Now, everyone, if you could please procure your tools of damnation. <laughs> hey, hey, Stephanie, can I tell you something? I guess so. So I can't tell my parents this, but sometimes I think about flossing with both strings and those, and the picker things. But Jemima, you could be kicked out of the church. I know, I know. And I can't tell anyone, and everyone thinks I'm the freak. Jemima! <laughs> What's this I hear? You're my only daughter, Jemima! Ah! 